Hello, good morning. This is Fernando Mendes with ESCToday.com. Today with May Finnegold, the entrant for Israel after the first rehearsal. Uh, hello, second, second rehearsal. rehearsal. Yeah. Thank you for receiving us. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, uh, you have. I uh, will have seen you on the stage uh, with your rehearsal. How do you like the performance? While you have seen it on the stage, uh, how do you feel with it? I feel very good with it. I really hope it's gonna keep this way. We were very happy. We were in the viewing room. We watched it, and we all loved it. So hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna remain that way. <laughs> Uh, there's been a lot of talking about your strut on stage. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, uh, where did this story come from, uh, and how did you develop that? Um, I just uh, I work with uh, the professional crew uh, with Oz Moag, which is the, is the director and also a very well-known choreographer in Israel, and my best friend Shiran Lagziel, which is one of my dancers and my best friend. And when we entered the studio for the first time to do the choreography, that was the first thing we did. <laughs> we started strutting and strutting and strutting and we said, we love it, we have to do it. And I'm, I'm happy everyone loves it as well. That's great. It is excellent. I can tell you, you love it once you see it. Thank you. Um, I heard something in one of your previous interviews about you watching the Eurovision Song Contest since you were uh, a kid, practically, and uh, recording that on videotape. Do you still keep those videotapes? I don't think so. <laughs> I think my mom threw away all the videotapes we had in the house. Um, <laughs> I don't have any videotapes in the house anymore. Would you have liked to use that for preparing your performance, maybe? Everything is on the net today. I can go on YouTube and see everything. I don't need those videotapes. Uh, whatever I want, I click and I watch. <laughs> That's excellent. Well, um, you are no new to, uh, to, a, to a stage or to competitions. Actually, you have been awarded a Best Supporting Actress Award for the Israeli Theatre Israeli theater Awards for your role as Rosa. And uh, you are in musical theatre, you are also performing songs. How is the switch? How do you change from one role to the other? I think uh, it all has the same power to it. I just bring myself to everything I do, even if it's theater or a live show in front of audience. And even as a one-on-one -on -one person, I, you just bring your own energy to it and the magic happens. I have no control over, uh, over what happens. I just do uh, what I need to do and my energy goes through. And sometimes everyone loves it and sometimes uh, you need to change some things. I'm sure everyone loves it. It's totally lovable. And, uh, well, um, about the song, uh, Same Heart, uh, what we've been listening to it, uh, what uh, does this song have uh, uh, that the other two entries that you were proposed didn't? The, the what, sorry? Uh, the, the, other, the other songs, that, the other two songs that oh, you were suggested. Yeah. Uh, I think it was more suitable for Eurovision. Uh, everything happened really, really quick, uh, quickly. We chose three songs uh, that we loved, absolutely loved, and we entered the, the studio to record them in one week, to produce them and record them on the highest level in one week. And uh, I loved all three of them. I was in love with them. And uh, the public uh, had to choose one song. I did think that Same Heart was more suitable out of the three for Eurovision. Obviously, I didn't say anything to anyone because I wanted to see what the public thinks. And they thought exactly like me. So I was thrilled when Same Heart was chosen. By the way, it was written by Rami Talmid, yeah, which is an amazing person. I love him. That's great. Uh, yeah, well, the entry is actually, actually good. And um, now here in Eurovision, uh, well, are you, it's maybe a very harsh question, but I'd like to ask it. Is, are you more into the competition side or are you mostly on the enjoying the experience side? Uh, I think that uh, the only competition really in life is with yourself. I, I, I can't compete. There's so many good talents here. You'd never know what's going to happen. I only have a competition with myself to get better and better with myself. I have no control over anything that's going on besides. So the only thing you can do is really to enjoy it. You have to enjoy the way. And if you don't enjoy it, it, uh, it shows. It shows on your performance. So first of all, to enjoy. And second of all, to have a competition with yourself. That's it. That's great. Thank you very much, May. M good luck. Uh, yeah, could we listen a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, the part in Hebrew, I do enjoy that. 
Can you please? What, uh, part of the song? Or do you want something else? The part in Hebrew. The, the part, part in Hebrew. Hebrew. Ah. It's very soft and quiet. Notzrad mamazman lakum bli chashash livchor mechadash v'Hashem ashtid galel aydam boer lo nirdam hakoch bikam hachofesh kvar koreli l'sham. Toda me. Toda ba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.